In this video, I am going to derive the formula to find mode of the group to frequency distribution. In a group to frequency distribution, it is not possible to determine the mode by looking at the frequencies. Here we can only locate the class with the maximum frequency called the modal class. The mode is the value inside modal class only. Here 40 and 55 is modal class. Hence, mode must be greater than or equal to 40 and less than or equal to 55. Here we need to find the exact value of mode. To understand it visually, put a vertical dashed bar between 40 and 55. Then x coordinate of the red dot will be equal to mode. Considering this fact, let us move ahead. You can think of as left and right bar will apply force on vertical dashed line in proportion to their height or you can say frequency. If frequencies of the preceding and succeeding class have same value, then dashed line lie in the middle of 40 and 55. Hence, value of mode will be average of 40 and 55, that is 47.5. If frequency of right bar is greater than left bar, then vertical line will shift towards right bar, but it will never cross 55. If frequency of left bar is greater than right bar, then vertical line will shift towards left bar, but it will never come below 40. If frequencies of right bar and left bar are same, then vertical line will again shift in the middle of 40 and 55. If frequency of left bar is equal to frequency of modal class, then vertical line will shift to 40, hence mode is equal to 40. If frequency of right bar is equal to frequency of modal class, then vertical line will shift to 55, hence mode is equal to 55. But what will happen when frequencies of left and right bar are neither equal to each other nor equal to frequency of modal class? In this case, vertical line will be somewhere between lower and upper limit of modal class. Let us consider lower limit of modal class as point A, which x coordinates are L, comma 0, upper limit of modal class as point B, which coordinates are L plus H, comma 0, where H is class width and coordinates of point P are X, comma 0. Here value of X is equal to mode. Let us consider frequency of modal class equals F1, frequency of preceding class equals F sub 0, and frequency of succeeding class equals F sub 2. Here point P divides line segment AB internally in the ratio F sub 1 minus F sub 0 is to F sub 1 minus F sub 2. To get X coordinate of point P, we will use section formula which is as follows. X is equal to M2 times X2 plus M1 times X1 divided by M1 plus M2. Here M1 is equal to F1 minus F sub 0 and M2 equals F1 minus F2. Now putting the corresponding values in the section formula, we get X is equal to F1 minus F sub 0 times L plus H plus F1 minus F2 times L divided by F1 minus F sub 0 plus F1 minus F2. Distributing F1 minus F sub 0 over L plus H, we get F1 minus F0 times L plus F1 minus F0 times H plus F1 minus F2 times L whole divided by F1 minus F0 plus F1 minus F2. Now we will write terms involving L together and take L as common factor and leave the remaining parts as it is, which gives us F1 minus F0 plus F1 minus F2 whole multiplied by L plus F1 minus F0 times H divided by denominator. Now we will split this fraction in two parts, one involving L and other involving H. Because this quantity is same, hence we can cancel it. This implies X is equal to L plus a fraction, which numerator is F1 minus F sub 0 times H and denominator is equal to F1 minus F0 plus F1 minus F2. Hence we can say the whole quantity on right hand side is equal to value of mode. If you find content of this video useful, 
please hit the like button and also consider subscribing us. Thanks for watching.